Hello, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I'd take a look at uh, one of these programmable keypad things which I bought off AliExpress a few weeks ago. Uh, and I thought I'd go through uh, five things that uh, you should know before actually buying one of them. Um, so the idea behind uh, these devices is uh, you get uh, a certain number of uh, unlabeled buttons uh, here, they're mechanical, which you can use software to program to uh, any key combination that you require. So um, if you find that you don't have any media control buttons on your keyboard, you can program some to play pause and previous track and skip track and uh, go volume up or volume down um, or you can use the knob here as well uh, to do that. Um, this particular one has a layer function which uh, means that I think that you can uh, go through three different sets of combinations for these if you wish. Um, and this particular one is a Bluetooth version as well. So you can, uh, it's got a battery inside it, uh, you can see there, and you can um, use Bluetooth uh, to communicate with your laptop instead of using a cable uh, if you don't like clutter on your desk. Um, yeah, as I said before, the keys are mechanical. Uh, this one is uh, a six button version uh, with a single knob. You can get uh, bigger and smaller ones. You can get ones with just three buttons uh, with one knob, um, or you can get six with two knobs and they, they go they go right up to, uh, I think it's nine or 16 buttons. Really, you can have any combination that you want. There's plenty of them on AliExpress. Um, this one measures about 10 centimeters by 5.5 so they aren't they aren't too compact they will take up a little bit of space on your desk it looks like it's a, a PCB sandwiched into some layers of plastic there's a USB-C connection uh, there's your on off switch there's your layer button switch um, yeah that's pretty much it so five things that uh, I think you should know about this uh, this type of gadget um, before you buy um, first of all is that they are quite cheap. So this one here was 40 Australian dollars, which is which is pretty good for a Bluetooth uh, type uh, device. Uh, they can come down to uh, around 15 or 20 dollars you can find on AliExpress. Um, AliExpress usually has, well, there's, there's a whole heap of different sellers who um, are selling these things now. And um, they, yeah, you can get them very, very cheap. For, for what they for what they do so um, yep not much money and uh, Aliexpress shipping has improved lately to Australia so you can get it within two or three weeks now so that's pretty fast much faster than uh, during during the pandemic where it would take up to two months to, to get something from Aliexpress so I found that pretty good uh, the second thing that you should know about these things is that the Bluetooth functionality in here, it sounds like it would be quite useful, but uh, it actually times out after a few minutes. So if you uh, don't press any buttons or aren't twiddling with the, the volume for a few minutes, it will actually go to sleep. And to wake it up from sleep, you actually need to turn it off and then on again. And that just gets annoying. So I ended up just plugging it in permanently so I didn't need to worry about um, about it falling asleep because yeah it just got annoying um, the third thing you should know about uh, this is that there's no feet on it right so you've just got these screws on the on the base here and so when you actually use it on the desk it tends to slide around and it makes a horrible noise and it probably scratches the desk as well so uh, to mitigate that you'll probably need to get some rubber feet like these, uh, you'll need to make sure that the feet are large enough so that they sit um, higher than the profile of the screws. Um, so I bought these uh, from eBay, so they should do the trick. The fourth thing you should know is that the software for this is, is really janky. Um, it's not intuitive at all. 
uh, and you'll probably need to play around with it uh, quite a bit to, um, to actually get it to do what you need it to do. Um, and it's also hard to find. So I ended up uh, looking at another YouTube video which had a link to download it. So that's how I got the software. Um, once you do it and you figure it out and you, you program the, um, the buttons, then that's all you need to do with it. You can uninstall the program and you don't need to run it again. Um, which brings me on to my last last thing that you should know, and that's that all the, the buttons are pro all the functionality for the buttons are programmed on the device. So if you program this button to be next track and this one to be play pause, then if you take this device and plug it into a, another computer or another laptop, it'll still perform those functions. You don't need to run the software on the on the new new computer. Um, yeah, because everything is stored on the device. So yeah, there you have it. Um, they're pretty cool little devices. Um, I'm not sure whether the benefit of them, or at least in my case, uh, outweighs the, you know, having yet another gadget on my desk um, because I just use it for play, pause and volume control. And, you know, like I could probably do that um, or program some of the extra buttons on my mouse, for instance, or if I got really smart about it, I could program some functionality into my keyboard, um, uh, some keyboard shortcuts to do the same thing. But still, it's a it's a pretty cool piece of tech, and um, yeah, it's it's actually quite addictive just playing with the buttons. It's a, almost like a fidget spinner type thing. So um, I like it. It was pretty cheap. It's a cheap little toy. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Cool. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.